Hello, Dwayne Brummett here from TriStar Martial Arts Academy, and today our topic is be a leader, not a boss. I'm actually coming to you from my sunroom. So, do you consider yourself to be a leader or do you consider yourself to be a boss? Uh, this question just doesn't apply to the workplace. It also refers to um, you, know, you at home, uh, your personal relationships as well. So, do you lead other, others or do you just tell them uh, what you want done without, uh, without any consideration or explanation? Do you encourage and develop your team, you know, or you know, uh, your uh, your family, or do you criticize and protect your own interests? Listen, the world is full of bosses. There's far too few real leaders, and since leaders are rather scarce, you can actually make um, a name for yourself by becoming a good leader. So that's what we're going to talk about today. And in fact, you'll enjoy more career opportunities and have far fewer challenges with your employees when you know how to become the best leader you possibly can be. So being a leader uh, is helpful, like I said, at, at, at home too. Your kids and spouse would rather deal with a leader than a boss. So take advantage of these ideas that I'm gonna share with you and become uh, a more effective leader today. Number one. Number one is lead by example. Listen, a boss likes to sit on the sidelines and allow others to, to do the hard work. A leader is out in front you know, of his people showing the way, or her way, right? Showing the way. A leader is involved. A boss just makes the requests and then walks away. Number two, a, uh, a leader is, well, a leader, leaders are actually driven by a purpose. They have an overall goal or mission in mind, and the people following the leader must be inspired and empowered by that mission. In fact, the people must understand the mission uh, the, that the, the leader has. And this is very different than providing you know, just a to-do list without any context. And that's what bosses do. Number three, leaders know how to delegate bosses micro manage. A leader trusts his or her people, but a boss struggles to uh, relinquish any control. In fact, a leader has surrounded himself or herself with the people that actually complement their weaknesses. A boss, well, they, they hire people that don't make him feel or her feel threatened. A boss always has a weaker team. Uh, the team can't accomplish uh, as much, be, well, just because they're not empowered to. The team also is weaker because the boss uh, doesn't want, um, well, they don't want strong employees that might shine brighter than he actually does or she. So number four, leaders value respect. A boss wants to be feared and that's not respect. Listen, on the surface, they may appear to be similar, but the, difference are, the differences are striking. A leader is willing to use his enthusiasm, skill, and, and, and expertise to encourage others to respect and follow him. A boss uses fear and you know, threatens to you use that fear to, to threaten and gain compliance. Leaders, they have the, the best wishes of their followers in mind. Those that follow a, a boss actually secretly want him to fail. Number five. Uh, leaders develop new leaders. A true leader is consistently creating employees. Um, well, with you know, the, he's giving them knowledge and experience to to actually take his place. A boss is afraid of the competition. Uh, a boss is afraid he'll be uh, replaced as and and he's you know too self-centered to be concerned about the career aspirations of his employees. A leader is not like that. They want to duplicate themselves. Number six, leaders know how to motivate. They know that uh, no two employees are the same. In fact, they know that they're, they know their employees so well that um, they know how to inspire them. A boss simply says, it is what it is, right? Uh, you, you, you have to do what I say and get it done, and, and if you don't like it, you can go look for another job somewhere. Leaders actually use positive techniques for motivation, while bosses tend to just criticize. Number seven, leaders take responsibility. What a concept, right? Leaders take responsibility. When the team fails, the leader is out there in front. 
right? They're out there in front taking the brunt of the criticism. A boss is trying to uh, absolve himself or herself of, of, of as much responsibility as possible. A boss is quick to blame his employees when, when a leader is quick to blame himself. Now you can think back over, if you're an adult watching this, you can think back over your work history and you've probably worked for plenty of bosses, but hopefully you've at least had a couple of leaders. It's not enjoyable, you know, enjoyable to work for someone that fits into that, uh, into that leadership category. You feel like you're operating in the dark with uh, very little or no support and, and few development opportunities. It's much more enjoyable, right, to uh, work for a leader. So, you leaders or want to be leaders, right? Develop your leadership skills. You'll hopefully be helping yourself, your employees, and your family. Now, did you know that, that uh, at Dwayne Brummett's TriStar Martial Arts Academy, we actually start leadership training from day one? We do. Not only uh, you know, do our students, or let me say this, not only do we have a leadership program that our students have to, well, they have to be in our program for at least one year. They have to work really hard, be invited to it, interviewed for it, and then actually be evaluated by their parents, teachers if appropriate, of their kids, uh, and uh, school, you know, at school and, and their martial arts teachers as well, um, just to uh, get into our leadership program. But leadership actually starts from day one. So if you're interested about our program for both kids and adults alike, uh, in fact, just so you know adults, 75% uh, of our uh, adults actually have one child training, at least one child training in our program. So if you'd like information about that, you can go to tristarkarate.com. Uh, take these seven leadership uh, tips and use them to become the best leader that you possibly can be. Don't become a boss. They're a dime a dozen. Become a leader and stand out.